For mushrooms to fruit properly, they need two fundamental things. They need good humidity and they need lots of fresh air. Unfortunately, those things can be diametrically opposed when trying to set up a nice environment for your mushrooms because, you know, you want to keep them enclosed to keep the humidity in, but that cuts off fresh air. You have too much fresh air running through, you end up drying out your mushrooms and they can't grow properly. So to find that balance is really, really difficult. Now, before I get talking about my little micro fruiting chamber I set up, I want to give a big thank you and thumbs up to Kim, who gave me some suggestions for how to set up a good fruiting chamber. Um, and I'll be following your advice, advice more specifically in future videos. But I just want to talk about this little setup, this little tiny setup I have going with the materials that I had on hand. So. Right now I am using a seedling 10 by 20 tray. This is an extra sturdy one, by the way. I will be including a link for this and a lot of the other materials I'm using in the, the description below. So definitely check those out if you're interested in building your own little fruiting chamber. I have this humidity dome, again, usually used for seedlings. And I have this aquarium pump, this four outlet aquarium pump that I was using in my hydroponic setup, but I am upgrading that to a larger pump that, that can, has six outputs. So that is my source of fresh air. And I have a little tray with uh, perlite that is moistened and a little humidity and temperature gauge digital. So all of this combined, I'm able to provide both those things. The tray of perlite, allows uh, humidity to constantly fill and be released and keep this nice and humid. But at the same time, I'm using the pump to pump air through the tubing into one of the little, this is adjustable, like humidity dials, <laughs> little vents in the humidity dome. So I've stuck them in there. I took some of my daughter's clay, Play-Doh, and just sort of like squished it in there to, to just sort of keep the air from escaping there to force the air across the mushrooms and come out the holes here. And it's been working out really, really well, as you can see. Actually, let me pick this up so you can see it a little bit better. I have some beautiful fruiting going on with, and this is the same bag, by the way, of golden oyster mushrooms that you've seen in previous videos, including a video that was titled Why Mushrooms Fail. <laughs> They're doing a lot better since then. So in general, this is a great little setup made of the parts that I already had, but it's not a great long-term solution because as you can see, these uh, mushrooms are just starting to fruit and they're gonna easily grow up and smash through the top of this container. They're gonna get squished very easily, um, as well as my little experiment back there growing straight out of jars. So I don't have a lot of headroom. I don't have the space, the volume that's necessary for growing the mushroom, growing mushrooms at the level and at the capacity that I want. I don't have that. So I am gonna build a bigger setup. I'm going to get a large plastic tote. I'm gonna get a CPU fan to blow the air through, and I'm gonna cover the entire bottom in this moistened perlite. Basically all to create uh, a situation where I can grow lots of mushrooms and have lots of space, but have it pretty you know, contained and controlled. But um, that's for a future video. We'll talk about that in the future. I just wanted to share this cute little setup. I thought it was so hilarious. It's like, you know, that's a great thing about growing mushrooms. It's like being a mad scientist. One, not only because you get to grow these weird little creatures, but you just slap together some kind of some kind of setup, some kind of mad scientist. Like, um, I don't know. It's just a wonderful, beautiful thing. I love it. So much fun. In any case... Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this sort of video, please give this video a thumbs up. One, it helps me with the youtube -y stuff, and it also lets me know that you like these sorts of videos, so I know to do more. So give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, because you don't want to miss out on the adventures, mushroom growing adventures, or any other adventures that I happen to get myself into. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below about your own fruit and create chambers, what you've done to set up that perfect balance between fresh air and humidity. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.